All right, so here's how you do it. Photo, photo adventures is on the road. Hey there, crazy kids. This is Chris from Moto Photo Adventures welcoming you back to the channel. I have another quick little five minute upgrade you can do to your Aprilia Touareg that you're gonna love. Apparently, for some crazy reason, the blinker lights in the US versions are on these really, really long stalks. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at how far that sticks out, huh? Perfect for it to be broken off by the first little bush that you bump up against. <laughs> it's just a, a silly, silly notion. I have no idea why they have the blinker stalks sticking way out like that. Cool part is, check out AF1 Racing and you can order the European version. So the bike from Europe doesn't have those crazy oblong stocks that come way out. They have a much smaller stock. So you can actually order the European version from AF1 Racing. It is part number 2B or not to be 008992. So, order this little thing. It's like 6 bucks. Super cheap. 3 bolts and a clip and you can get rid of this and turn it into something a little bit more like this. Look at how much shorter that is. It sits nice and flush right up against the windscreen. All right, so here's how you do it. So the only parts you need are a number 25 Torx wrench. So that's an odd little thing. I don't know why they couldn't use Phillips screws or something, but... That is the question. The Italians, in their infinite wisdom, have used a Torx wrench for this, and there are three little screws that you have to replace. It's not a big deal. Again, here is the product number that you want to order, 2B008992. Once you open that up, this is what the stock looks like that you're going to get, and this is the one that you're replacing. Big difference, eh? Look at the length of difference there. All right, the three screws you have are one, two, and three. Very simple to do, just take your torque wrench, remove this guy, and be careful when you're taking this one apart because there is a little brass fitting on the inside here. You wanna make sure that you retain that because it's gonna go on the new one. Second bolt underneath, it's directly opposite this one. Super easy to get to. Take that out. And number three, right up on top. Okay, once you've got all three of those removed, you're gonna simply pull this stock as far as it'll go, kind of put it back into here because you want to make sure you can get access to this little clip. Once you get those twisted around so that you can see the little clip that holds them together, just get your thumbnail pushed underneath and pop that little clip up. And that will separate the two just like that. Now you'll slowly pull your old stock off, set that aside, and bring your new stock in, Again, just remember that you've got this little brass uh, fitting here. You want to make sure that you retain that. Slide your new stock on. And there's a little nub here at the end. And the brass stock goes on that nub. And that helps to keep it from rotating. Once you get that put together, you can screw it in. Just reuse the same torque screws that you had from before and then reattach the clip pretty easy to make sure you've got it facing the right direction it snaps right into place and then you can just sort of hide that uh, connector clip back inside your dashboard somewhere grab another one of those screws that you took out earlier and last screw Tighten everything down good. And Bob's your uncle. Bob, you are testing my patience. There's the previous stock. And there's the new stock. Much better. Super easy, super quick, five minute job. 
Get your stocks shortened so that you don't have to worry about them getting damaged while you're out riding in the bush. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we're going to put together an entire playlist of all the upgrades and modifications we're going to be doing to our project bike, our Aprilia Touareg 660. Thanks guys! Whoa.